So this is uh, Matt Orton. I am uh, the strength and conditioning coach at Jefferson High School. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on our facilities, uh, things that we've added um, to our, our, our weight room and, and how it will affect uh, the future. So as we come in, um, about five years ago we started some additions, uh, changed some things around. We obviously uh, done some paint work, uh, some signage, uh, updated our, our number of dumbbells as well as uh, medicine balls. Uh, you can see we have the traditional medicine balls uh, down here um, and we also have uh, the rubber, the non-bounce version, um, what we call a, a slam ball uh, that we use here. Uh, we are now at 24 racks up from our uh, 8 to 10 racks that we had 5 years ago. Uh, we've updated our technology. Uh, we use a system called Wattify, uh, and we've also updated that to uh, make it a little bit more efficient. Uh, we'll have classes of uh, 90 plus next year. So <clears throat> we needed something to make it a little bit more efficient. Students can use their mobile devices as well as our kiosk here, and we'll have two separate kiosks, uh, touch screens to do the logins, and then up above in the larger screens, you'll see our, our workouts. Uh, we've also added a, a technology grant. We have 24 iPads. Uh, students will use these to record their movements and make a library of these movements. Uh, Wattify will take care of the data portion of it, data submissions, and keep a graphical summary for each student for their career here at high school and beyond. And then the iPads will be used for data entry as well as uh, video library so they can assess their movement, uh, both uh, peer and student and teacher can all assess movement. For quality of movement, uh, we have uh, another set of iPads that we use for a timing mechanism and those kind of spray against or all over the weight room. Uh, so we have a timer to keep students um, on track. Uh, you can see that we have an additional seven racks down here at the opposite end. Uh, these are road wall mounts here. And then we have uh, the Castro rig down at the end, which is kind of an independent. And we've really done our best to kind of make use of whatever space we've had uh, so we can reach capacity in here. Got lots of boxes that we have built in house by our students in our construction class. Um, more bumper plates, walking back. And we've also got some rings that are also built here on site at the school. And then with the addition of our geothermal, uh, we've got this additional 1,500 square feet back in the back, and we house. Uh, nine more racks. We've got some, again, wall mount infinity racks, three of them over here. And then on the opposite side, uh, we have another infinity rack. Um, and these are inward facing, um, so we can use both sides. And there's six over here. Uh, we have our only piece of cardio equipment that we use, uh, which are the Concept 2s. Uh, we've got 10 of those. Uh, which we've kind of accumulated over the past five years. And those are nice for our Metcon workouts. Uh, got a nice new Rogue sign. I guess you get that for spending lots of money at Rogue. And kind of, let me do the panorama view of our whole facility. This is a kind of close up. We also got new water fountains in here. And Standing right down the center, see our original eight racks opening up into our new addition, 1,500 square feet, which brings us to a total of 24 racks in here. So with four students at each rack, we can accommodate 96 people in here working hard at one time. So that's where we're at.